What's up, guys? I'm just here to make you so proud. Do you guys mind if I go ahead and start it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hey, uh, Turma, we're going to do it in English, then in, uh, in Portuguese, okay. okay? How does it feel to finally get to Madison Square Garden? Yeah, I feel, I feel great. I feel great. Uh, you know this. I won this fight a lot. And now I'm here. And uh, next Saturday, I'm going to fight the MSG. was my dream, you know? And I'm so happy, feel great. We're happy to see you here too. Agora em português, uh, turma, como é que como é que você se sente em finalmente fazer a tua tua luta, a tua estreia no Madison Square Garden, né? A meca da luta. Pô, irado demais, né, cara? Irado demais. Estou muito feliz. É, era um sonho meu, né, que eu sempre tive. É, você sabe bem disso. E sabadão vai ser o dia, né? Então tô tô me sentindo muito bem para ir lá e dar um grande show para a galera aí. Chama. Chama. How long have you been in the U.S. back here? One year. How long have you been training with Glover? One year. <laughs> okay. Your English is pretty good. Did you yeah. learn English there or here? No, I have a personal teacher, my, my girlfriend. <laughs> Every day, you know, <laughs> and I learn like this. One year? One year of English? Yeah, it's one year. One year here. Oh, that's pretty good. So what's it been like training with Glover? Yeah, it's, it's so good, bro. So good. Uh, I love to train with him. He's a very nice guy. He's a good friend, you know, and uh, he takes care a lot of me, and it's so good to learn with this guy, you know, every day, learn with a champ, you know, and uh, he is where I want to be, you know, and I'm so happy to be with him. And then you're a middleweight, so you're obviously a little smaller than Pajeda and uh, Glover, so what are those rounds like sparring them? Are they trying to take your head off, or are they hard, are they going light? What's, what's that like, sparring them? Yeah, in this part, you need to be alert, you know, if you don't be alert, maybe a punch can get, you know. Uh, but we train. We don't train for kill each other in the gym. You know, like we take care of each other. Uh, we know our fight is the in the Saturday, now in the gym, now in the sparring. You know, and so good to train with them because, like I say, we take care of each other and and nobody hurt nobody. Well, one, one more. Sorry. So you're in two different worlds: Brazil, Connecticut. How are you liking being in Connecticut compared to? Brazil. Yeah, I love to be in Connecticut, bro. I love uh, for is was my best decision in my life. You know, I come here, I change a lot of my life. You know, I I I I've been far from my family. You know, every day one year far from my family. You know, and we see the results. You know, I'm two wins in a row. When I come here, I was two lose in a row. You know, and I love to be here. I love Connecticut. That city is so beautiful, and I love to be there. Well, it's in right here in the middle. Uh, you just mentioned you're on two fight winning streak. You're 26 years old. That's about the age where you start entering your prime. Uh, usually, the age where you start making big jumps and improvements. So that said, what's the biggest improvement we will see since your last fight? Yes, yes, brother. Uh, I stay without uh, without fight camp. You know, in this time, uh, my last fight was in February, and it's so good because I can train more. You know, improve my my striking because uh, in Brazil I train more grappling, not like this, not like here. You know. I have a good coach here. I train with Pota. Uh, I learn a lot with that guy, and uh, I think my my strike improve a lot. You know, Saturday you guys are gonna see this. Uh, your opponent Andre Petrowski, he's known for wrestling. You mentioned you're known for your grappling. Your last opponent was also known for wrestling. So how do you think you guys match up? Yeah, it's a good matchup. It's a, it's a nice matchup. I think it's good for me. You know, I'm a grappler. He's gonna take down me. He's he's gonna do my game. You know, I love I love this matchup for me. And it's a big night for your entire team. Another addition to the team recently has been Dominic Reyes. Uh, what do you think of him coming to the team, and how's it been going with him? Uh, so nice, so nice. He's a nice guy. Uh, he's my brother, uh, Porta Chu. You know, uh, it's, it's very good to train with these, these killers, you know, every day. And I learn a lot with these guys, you know. He's, he's, been, he's been doing good every day, training hard, you know. Uh, every, oh, we train hard every day, you know, and I think Saturday is going to be a good day for us. Three victors. Wellington right here. Uh, outside of predicting victory in the main event for Alex, how do you think he gets it done against Israel? I think it's going to be another knockout, you know, not KO, uh, like he did last time. And finally, unrelated to that, those fights, but uh, this is, might also be Frankie Edgar's last fight in his MMA career. I'm curious, were you a fan of his in Brazil? Did you watch him growing up, and do you have any favorite memories of his career? Talvez seja a luta do, a última luta do Frank Edgar. Você ah, cresceu okay, com ele? Okay, okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a legend, right? He's a legend. I, I watched a lot of his fights, you know. 
and it's so nice to be in this card with him, you know, in MSG. I um, feel, feel, feel great to be there with him. What do you think of Andre's skills on the mat? Yeah, he's, he's a tough guy, you know, he's a tough guy. I know this. I trained hard for this fight. Uh, I know it's going to be hard. Uh, he's strong. He has a good wrestling, you know. But I have a good defense too. I love to do grappling. It's my, my era, you know. And I think he's the, the, he's most dangerous in grappling, you know, like doing takedowns, you know. But I, I love to do grappling. It's going to be a good matchup for me. What do you think gives you the edge? Do you see any any opportunities that, that are going to present itself on Saturday? Uh, yes, yes. He, he He's strong, you know, like he gets tired fast. I think I saw his fights. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be Saturday, you know, but all his fights I saw he get tired in the second round, you know, and this I think this is going to be a good opportunity for me to finish the fight. So with that being said, how do you see it unfolding? É, unfolding seria como é que você como é que você, como é que você vê esse, o desdobramento disso, ou seja, com isso que yeah. você falou. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. I, I think the first round is gonna be he's trying to take me down, I defend, and the second round I go to a finish or KO. Thank you. Over here, how you doing, Wellington? Who gives you uh, the hardest challenge in a training camp? Is it is it Alex? Is it Glover? Is yeah. it Dominic now that he's there? <laughs> Everybody, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's a challenge. Uh, it's a hard train every day in the gym. We train hard there, you know. We work hard uh, because want, everybody there wants to be a champion one day, you know, like Glover, like Plata is doing, you know. And we train hard every day, bro. So <laughs> everybody. Everybody in the gym. <laughs> hey, Wellington, back here. Um, because there's three of you guys in the same camp on the same car, do you guys have to train, uh, change the way you guys train so you guys don't get injured or anything? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Nobody get injury. We, like I say, we take care of each other in training. You know, like we don't train for hurt each other. You know, like sometimes happens uh, because our sport is like crazy. You know, like punches, kicks, all of these things. But we we are in uh, we are healthy. Everybody's healthy and good for for go on Saturday and do a show for everybody. Okay.